okay so in this video we are gonna work on implementing bulk actions and delete the records that we let the user select so let the user delete the records uh, by selecting multiple items so for that uh, let's go to the documentation and check out the bulk actions feature so that's inside the table component and then bulk actions and okay we do have this bulk action feature so what i am going to do is i'm going to copy this code actually because okay we do have some confirmation dialogues and all the other stuff so we can copy this and then customize that or remove the stuff that we don't need so before the export what i want to do is i want to implement the bulk action and the label is gonna be delete selected students and each so what this does is it's going to iterate over each of the records and then perform the operation so in this case in our case it's going to be student record and the name is going to be okay i'm going to name it student and here we want to implement the delete function and confirm is going to be are you sure you want to delete the selected students so i'm using copilot to generate that and okay if you don't need confirm text confirm button is gonna be delete and cancel button is gonna be cancel and we also have some hooks in here i guess so, so the after and before hooks so we'll be looking into that as well okay where was that yeah we have that here so let's start by testing this thing and then we'll look into that so let's select record two and three so let's click on the settings icon and delete selected students are you sure you want to delete the students click on delete and then as you can see the number two and three records are deleted i also want to show a post notification about the status so what we can do is we can hook into that after function so we can pass that toast to the after uh, parameter so let's go ahead and do that so after function toast let's import that toast from components okay it's not components there's that it should be facades then okay toast info students deleted successfully again let's try it out so for and then click on delete selected students click on delete okay students delete successfully so that's also working fine now okay that's it for this part and in the next part we will be looking at exporting the records let's see how we are going to implement that because we have we have to pass that each function and then to each we are implementing the action to each of the models so we need a way to store the student id in an array and then we'll perform the export action so let's go ahead and do that in the next video